Seth. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be with you here today. Yeah, you too. What a great film. Thank you. A lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and what, what an ensemble. Um, yeah. You know, in trying to pick, you've got six major, seven with Donald Sutherland, major characters. Yeah. Um, I'd love to hear kind of the thought process to matching the employee up with the boss. Yeah. Well, we, I, I knew that the way the casting process had to start was with our three main guys and finding a trio that would be compatible with each other. That was the first major task, and that sort of established who each of the roles were going to be. He looks like James Bond. He really does, dude. I bet he carries one of those guns that you screw together. Yes. Those are like the coolest guns they this make, man. Great. so yes. dangerous. What if, what if that is an undercover cop? Oh, come on. Or better not, what if it's a real thing? He charges so much money, we can't afford it. He gets pissed off, kills us. He's not gonna, he kills he all three of us. Hold on. That's a thing? Could that happen? And then it was about finding the boss that was perfectly matched to whatever that guy's weakness would be or whatever his mindset would be. So in the case of, of Bateman, I knew that his character would be the most relatable to everyone. He's sort of the audience surrogate in the film, mm -hmm. and he also endures the most relatable micromanaging from his boss. I think we've all dealt with that guy that kind of tells you everything you do isn't quite good enough, and you gotta be here earlier, you gotta be, you gotta be work harder. Um, and Spacey was a perfect guy to play that part. You know that last month you made me work so late, I miss saying goodbye to my gam gam? I'm sorry, what? My grandmother, I told you that I needed to see her because she was very, very sick. You said if I left early, I'd get fired. And she died before I made it to the hospital. I'm sorry. Thank you. I had no idea that you called your grandmother. <laughs> and then Charlie was our, was our uh, dental assistant. And when I read the script, the first person I imagined in the role of Dr. Julia was Aniston. I just Really? Yeah, I just thought she's such a funny comedian and he's not often given the opportunity to show everything that she can do. And I thought it'd be really electric to see her do that, you know? Well, it's really shocking go. to hear some of the things that she says. And, oh, yeah. and I, I can't imagine what the process was to try and push her over that edge. She brought it. She was, there was no hesitation. There was no holding back. I mean, I'd say she, she was just, she came ready to play and had uh, a really great take on the material. See if this thing's working. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! I'm sorry. I'm a squirter, Dale. Oh, you know what? Ah! Oh, I think I can make out our little friend right there. Stop it. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. Somebody's circumcised. Okay. <laughs> and then who's who's gonna be the perfect sort of devious devilish? wicked little man, uh, but Colin Farrell, you know, was, took an interest in the role and he brought it to life in a great way. And he was talking about comb overs and bellies in our first meeting and we had those manufactured so we could see how it affected him and he just became uh, Bobby Pellet, which was wonderful to see. Oh yeah, we gotta trim some of the fat around here. Trim the, what do you mean by trim the fat? I want you to fire the fat people. What? They're lazy and they're slow and they make me sad to look at. You can start with large Marge. Marge, can you come in here, please? No, no Margie's not fat. She's pregnant. I'm not going to fire her. Well, fine. Uh, stay where you are, Marge. Congratulations. You can fire uh, Professor Xavier. Who are you talking about? You mean Hank? Yeah, creeps me out. Rolling around all day in a special little secret chair. He was great to involve, too. It was like a, just really rounded it all out. That Even Johan Gruffid, you know, playing the wet work guy. Oh yeah, you know we got just it, it, there's no small role, and we tried to have that attitude in the casting. It was a great film. Thanks. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks a lot.